Many times when we're working with polymorphism and inheritance, we want to create a class that cannot actually be instantiated, but instead is used as a base class and a model for all the derived classes in a chain of inheritance. A class that cannot be instantiated or will not be instantiated is called an abstract class. And it's very easy in C++ to create an abstract class. Let me show you an example. Let's say we're creating a geometrical program of some type, a program that draws shapes. A class we might want to use as a base for all of our other classes might be a shape class. But we wouldn't want to actually instantiate the shape class because it won't have a particular shape. Instead, we're going to derive classes from the shape class, such as circle, rectangle, square, those types of shapes. So what we can do is make the class abstract. And we do that very simply by creating a set of methods and making them all what are called pure virtual methods. And the way you do that is, is that you provide an initializer for the virtual method. So virtual void set x equals zero says that that function set x now becomes a pure virtual function. And so we can do the same thing with the set y because we're going to have x and y coordinates. I'm sorry, I kind of left that part out. So we might also have get x and get y functions. We'll make both of those virtual as well. And pure virtual by providing an initializer to zero. And then finally, we'll also provide a draw method, which one of the drive classes can use to draw the shape that's specified. So now, the shape class becomes abstract. By that, we mean that we cannot instantiate the class. And if we try to, we'll just get a compiler error. So what we want to do then is create a drive class that is based on this shape class. So for example, we might say class circle and then public shape to indicate we are inheriting from the shape class. Now, in order for circle to become not another abstract class, we have to implement all of the pure virtual functions in the base class shape. So the first thing we need to do though is create a few variables. We'll make them private. So we need a x, y, and a radius to be able to define a circle. For our public section, we'll create a constructor that takes an x coordinate, a y coordinate, and a radius and assigns them accordingly. And then we need to implement each of the pure virtual functions that are in the base class. So we need a set x, and we'll do that first. And we need one for set y. We also need a set radius method. Even though that's not part of the abstract class, we still need that. And then we'll need a get x, a get y, and a get radius. So we'll implement those next. And actually, set radius is not virtual. So we'll change that. So there's get x. There's get y. And here's get radius. And then last is the draw method. So it's virtual void draw const. We don't have the capabilities to demonstrate how to draw a circle. So we're just going to see out a couple of things here. What we'll say is we're drawing circle at, and then we'll provide the x and y coordinates. Let's put a space right there to make it a little bit easier to read. And then get y. And then we'll provide get radius. And then an indel. There we go. I shift it over a little bit. Make sure that's everything. And then close off our class definition. Make sure we did that with shape. I believe I did. 
No, I didn't. I had a semicolon there. There we go. Okay. Let's create a circle object. X, Y, and a radius of 5. And then we're going to say C1 draw. Just to demonstrate how it works. So let's build and run. Get X and get Y. Need to be int methods, so let's go fix that. Let's build and run again. Little mistake there, we need a space, but I'll leave that out. So to wrap up, class becomes an abstract shape by making all of its functions pure virtual. And the way we make a function pure virtual is by assigning an initializer of zero to the function as such. Then when we try to inherit from that abstract class, we have to implement all of the functions that have been defined as pure virtual. And that's what we did in circle. So that's how you create and use a shape class. And when we get to the exercises later on in the chapter, we'll look a little bit more at how to work with abstract classes.